Hey, what's going on everybody? Just sitting here because I cannot do anything in my lawn. It's a muggy day. It's going to be raining and it's stopping me from what I have to do in my lawn. So I figured I'd sit here and I'd give you guys four tips to prepare for this spring lawn care. So tip number one, soil test. Soil test will actually help you determine if you're not adequate in some micros or in some macros in your lawn and that will help you determine and plan out what do you need to add for your soil to benefit the grass. Everything is going to start on the soil then it goes to the grass but the soil is key here. Simple soil test that you could take to your local extension office. Mine for instance is the Broward County Extension Office. Actually they work with the University of Florida. You can look up your county's extension office, give them a call and ask them, how can I do my soil test? How can I give you or provide a university my soil test? It's a simple method. You just need one simple tool, a soil sampling tool that you could purchase pretty much anywhere on Amazon. Just look up soil sampling. If not, down in the link of the description, there'll be a tool that I use to pull cords out of my soil. Just dumping a bunch of nitrogen onto your soil can give you a visual response, but not for the long run. It'll just give you a simple sampler of what's going to happen if you have proper soil nutrients level, your macros and your micros. So make sure you do a soil test. That is tip number one that I could give you for a successful spring lawn season. Tip number Two, make sure you put down your pre-emergence at the right time. The right time could be dictated by soil temperatures. A good minimal soil temperature that I could give you is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. If your soil is at 55 degrees Fahrenheit, be prepared. Weeds are going to start to germinate. A good pre-emergent that I could recommend, prodiamine. Put down prodiamine at 5.2 grams per 1,000 square feet is an equivalent amount of about 1.5 teaspoons of product or a 0.4 ounce rate per gallon for 1,000 square feet. Don't deal with the weeds later. Deal with them now. Now is the time to get ahead of the game and that helps you not waste so much money later in trying to stop broad leaves, crabgrass, all these type of weeds that will germinate once the soil temperatures hit around 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Tip number three, check your sprinklers. Go calibrate, go make adjustments, go check how much your sprinklers are putting out and make sure you're getting at least that inch, inch and a half to two inches of water in your lawn. Calibrate, see how long it takes for your backyard to get that inch, inch and a half, two inches of water. See how long your front yard is taking to get that inch, inch and a half, two inches of water that week we're talking about a week's worth of water we're not talking about a day that week worth of water you're getting that inch and a half to two inches of water a quick bonus tip that i want to add here that is not in my top four but it's a tip that i want you guys to really initiate is give your mower a tune-up when was the last time you tuned up your mower? And I'm not talking about just simply add oil and, you know, maybe sharpen the blades or, you know, replace them. I'm talking about checking the fuel line, checking the carburetor, looking at your ignition, at your spark plug, of course, sharpening your blades and giving it an actual oil change where you dump the old oil out and add new oil. Just a bonus tip, make sure you guys do that and get your mower ready for the spring season. Tip number four, and the final tip that I have for you to have a successful spring lawn care season. Do not panic. Please do not panic. There is no reason to panic. 
Oh, you didn't aerate on time. Oh, we didn't put down pre-emergent on time. Oh, am I putting fertilizer on the 1st of March or on the 1st of April? Oh my God, when do I have to do this? If you are a beginner, you're just learning. You may hop onto YouTube and you may see all of these suggestions. Put down pre-emergence. Put this down. Put it down. Just put it down when it gets there. You might be a little bit late, but you could still stop at least, if I had to give you a percentage, 40% of the weeds that have not germinated on time. A fertilizer. The grass could get fertilizer whenever it wants. It does not have to be set on a schedule. If you see, start seeing what you may think is brown spots, do a little research on that before you look at the first video of any YouTube and say, oh, that's what I have. It's brown spots. It's dollar spots. I have fungus in my lawn. I have disease in my lawn. I have insects in my lawn. Do a little digging. Do a little research. But don't panic. The moment you start to panic is the moment you start throwing money out trying to fix this problem when it could be a simple solution. Those are the four tips that I could give you guys for a successful spring lawn season. Soil test, pre-emergence, calibrating and checking your sprinklers, and not panicking. Best of luck to you this upcoming lawn season. Follow along if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't. Go to my Instagram, so if you guys are not seeing me post here, I am definitely posting something on my Instagram to keep on that interaction with my subscribers. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.